a 13 millimeter. Literally, you squeeze this pin in like that. So you push it in like that, and you pull, you pull back. Get a ten millimeter so I'm sorry I didn't get to finish the removal of the venous solenoid um, this is the old one here I took these out last year and clean it so I marked it this is the one I was getting called for which was the intake um, so I mark it to not mix up both of them. And you see I wrote to the, a Sharpie here also. A Sharpie is pretty good. The oil didn't take it off. Well, now I'm rubbing it. Um, so I run this car, I think about six months after taking them out and clean them. I soak it in diesel. What I did, I put this down and soak it in diesel and activate it up here. I have another video. I'll put it in the description. But I activate up here with, with 12 volts while it's soaking in diesel so it will go back and forth. And I cleaned it up, um, spray it out, put it back in. I soak it back in oil when I finish and let it drip dry and reinstall it. I didn't get any problem from it since then. It's been working fine. But since I took it out yesterday, I've been looking it over and I noticed the... I don't think this is supposed to happen because this is pressed, right? You can see where it's pressed in right here. But if you listen closely, you can hear like when I turn it, it's moving. You can't really see it, but you can definitely hear it. And I don't think that that should happen. So maybe that's what was giving me the issue. I'm not sure. But the the ohm reading on this one was fine. I can't remember what it was. I didn't do it again. I just bought a new one and replaced it. So by that, I think I'm going to change the exhaust side too. Because this car, it's what, at 62,000 miles. So I'm going to change the exhaust one too. Just to keep both of them balanced, I guess. When I finish... Um, I recalibrate it with the with the computer I have. I am using an Artel and that I recalibrate the Venus. So it will be later on in the video. Here's the part number here for this um, Venus. I use the original. Um, I see some cheap one on, on Amazon and eBay. There's some uh, so-called used new one like they took it out the package it was never used but i didn't want to go with that i just wanted to with this particular piece it's a performance piece i wanted to go with the original so here's the new solenoid make sure the o-ring is on there these two one is a spacer this is a spacer this is an o-ring Line it back up. Make sure you press it in. Okay.
So after changing the Venus, I'm gonna do a adaptation reset. So reset Venus adaptation values. Adaptation values were reset. So that's it. 